Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dorothea, Airpus Creation 2021. Today is Saturday. I hope you all had a nice day so far. And I thought I like to finish up with Confucianism today. On a Monday, I like to try to finish up on Taoism. Okay, so let's start. I hope it works out. And I will not be interrupted. Okay, so let's do it. Confucius at one point said to his disciples, there is no one in this world who understands me. Sekung questioned him by saying, why do you say that there is no one who understands you? Confucius answered, I don't blame heaven and I don't blame mankind. All I try to do is my best to acquire knowledge and to aim at a higher ideal. Perhaps heaven is the only one who understands me. At a time when Confucius was still an official working in politics, he would go over the cases of lawsuits and official documents with his colleagues and seek their opinions on things and not make his own decisions. But in the spring and autumn annals, he wrote down and deleted exactly as he thought fit. And the disciples, like Tsetsia, were not able to put in a word. When Confucius taught the spring and autumn annals, he said, the future generations shall understand me through those writings. In the year 480 BC, Confucius fell ill, walking slowly around supported by a walking stick. Sekung visited Confucius and Confucius said to him, Tse, short for Sekung, why do you turn up so late? Confucius then sighed and sang a song. The Taishan, in brackets mountain, is crumbling down. The pillar is falling down. The philosopher is passing out. He then supposedly shed tears and spoke to Tsekung. For a long time the world has been living in moral chaos and no ruler has been able to follow me. At one point Confucius said to Tsekung, Last night I dreamt I was sitting and receiving or making a libation between the two pillars. Seven days afterwards, Confucius died in the month of April and at the time he was 73 years old or as the book points out, 72 years according to English reckoning. Confucius was, was buried in Lu on the river Se in the north of the city. His disciples followed the ancestor worship, observing the three years of mourning. After the three years were over, they said goodbye to each other and left. Sekung remained near the tomb ground for six more years before he also left. And over a hundred families, consisting of Confucius' disciples and natives of the province Lu, went to live near the tomb ground and there grew up a village known as Kungli or Kung's village. 
for generations sacrifices were offered at the temple of Confucius and the Confucianists held also academic discussions and village festivals and archery contests at a tomb. The tomb ground <coughs> is said to have been big enough to accommodate the disciples in its halls. Succeeding generations preserved the Confucian belongings such as his caps, his gowns, string instruments, carriages and books in the Confucian temple. This was kept up for over 200 years. And to name the most important and the immediate Confucian uh, uh, people who belong to the Confucian circle, I named them here now so you get a little idea too, okay? There was Yen Xu or Yen Xuan, who was Confucius's favorite disciple, whom he praised only in superlative terms. Kung Li or Po Yu was Confucius's only son and he was said to have been entirely undistinguished in his works. He was his son, he was in the circle, but he didn't, according to the book, contribute much important things to Confucianism. Se Lu, the oldest of the regular disciples of Confucius, was always one who protested against Confucius's conduct, received rough handling in the hands of the authors of the Analects. Tse Lu died in a fight because he insisted on adjusting the tassels on his cap like a gentleman would do. And by doing so, adjusting his, his tassels on his cap during the fight, he was wounded because of it. He played around with his cap that it sits perfectly and then that happened. Tse Kung, the most devoted of Confucius's disciples, reputed to be a first-class diplomat. Tse Sia was a more scholarly type and became a great teacher after Confucius's death. Tse Yu also a close disciple and good diplomat. Tseng Tse or Sheng Chan was noted for filial piety. He was the youngest and most philosophical of the disciples. He was the teacher of Confucius's grandson and ranks near to Mencius in the Confucian temple. Yan Xiu or Yan Zhu was a practical and an able man and he became secretary to the Baron Kang Shi. Later, Confucius disowned Yan Yu because he helped the Baron to tax the people, which Confucius didn't like. There was Duke Ai of Lu, Baron Kang Shi of Lu, under the Duke, Duke Xing of Xi, Duke Ling of Wei. All these were rulers of the time with whom Confucius had constant conversations. There was a woman named Queen Nancia. She is said to have been notoriously beautiful and licentious a queen and she was the wife of Duke Ling of Wei. Lastly, Yang Ho, a powerful but corrupt official 
in Luke, whom Confucius heartily disliked. So, that was pretty much it of the most important things. I could go on for five more, six more videos, but this is this is the most important to give you a glimpse because my channel is not making students out of each of the of my followers, but just give you an idea about Confucianism. And I hope I did that with the things that I presented here. There's of course much, much more to learn and to, to find out, but it's like with everything, if you are interested in it, you most likely will get a book and read it yourself, which is always the best to do, okay? I just wanted to give you a taste of Confucianism, of the time of Confucianism, of his works, of the people surrounding him, of the time he was living in, things like that, okay? So on Monday, I think I make a video to finish up on Taoism. I will talk a bit more about Shuang Shu and his basic writings. There's lots of interesting stuff in that book. And Taoism is a very interesting philosophy. They talk a lot about nature, the forces in nature, everything that practically interests all of us because we are part of nature too. Okay? So, guess what? Today I made a nice new juice. It's cucumber, carrots, orange, and celery. And look, look at the color. Isn't that pretty? So, I take a sip. Very good. So what else can we talk? I have the feeling this video was a little bit short. What can I tell you? I could tell you today in the morning I made, I went and did some laundry, lots of stuff actually. I did that. I made three loads of laundry and uh, it's ready now. I have to iron later on a little bit stuff and fold the stuff and put it away. Then I went quickly shopping for a few things that I forgot yesterday. That's what I did today also. The weather today is, oh, let's say a little bit over, over, Crowded over that's the wrong word. It's kind of gray, gray and crisp out there today, gray and crisp, but it didn't rain. Yesterday it did snow a little bit, but the snow didn't didn't last because it was too mild a weather, so it right away melted away. So far, the winter here in Germany was quite mild and not much snow so far. So, for all the people who do not care much for snow, they are most likely very happy this winter. I actually like snow, but only if the snow is this kind of porphyry, the, the, porphyry, the, porphyry, the, the, the fresh snow that stays nicely and you can walk on it and it's not, not wet and not uh, messy but real nice then i like the nature too when the trees are white and the fields are white and it looks pretty i think to walk there in the snowy landscape i think all four seasons have have beauty all four seasons spring summer autumn and winter they all have their good good uh, parts to enjoy you just have to choose to see it you just have to see it because i think if you live in the regions where they have winter there's not much you can do anyway so you might as well accept it and make the best out of it and try to find some 
beauty in it nevertheless and then you might even enjoy it okay so that goes with everything like Taoism teaches us to accept all the forces of nature because they too held there is nothing you can do things are the way they are nature is the way nature is and the best is to accept it and go with the flow and then life is pretty good so that was for today a short video i'm happy i'm not interrupted so far so i quickly finish it up before they interrupt me because i didn't straighten out the problem i didn't get to see anybody from telecom they will come but it will take a while so i hope till then till it's finally straightened out i will still be able to make short videos and keep in touch with you all before i'm getting interrupted and frustrated again okay so i wish you a wonderful rest of saturday i wish you a most wonderful sunday tomorrow i wish you happiness i wish you love i wish you all the best okay smile and enjoy life enjoy this rest of january and i hope this whole year will be just a wonderful year for all of us because i think after the COVID times it's pretty long now we all deserve a break okay so have a nice weekend i send out love to everybody and i see you back on monday goodbye